good now we have created the table altered now i want to insert now previously it has got four columns then we added the three columns i want to insert values when i want to insert there are seven columns right so i need to supply seven values correct now insert into my table values so there are seven columns so i need to supply seven values pnr number 123 train number uh, 222 the date of journey the date field you you have to give in within quotes in yyyy mm dd format so i am giving 2010 journey date is 01 uh, 25 so you have to give in quotes in yyyy mm dd format if you give in some other format it may give some issues number of passengers i'm giving as 3 seat or berth i'm going to say it seat and uh, from station i'm going to say it is uh, chn and then the two station it is blr okay now i have given all the seven values so it is saying one row is inserted let me do select star now it is showing one value correct now suppose i try to insert the same thing i am trying to insert the same thing i have already inserted 123 pnr number 123 i am trying to insert the same value primary key is 123 when it says it says duplicate entry 123 for key 1 that means the primary key pnr number as i said primary key means it cannot be duplicated already the value 123 is present okay and when you try to insert the same key it is giving the issues suppose i try to do the same thing but instead all the other values are same but now i am inserting 124 look at this all the other data are same they are not, i am not giving them as primary key that means they are not unique but i have given only pnr number as primary key so as long as that doesn't repeat the table does not bother about other columns this is a straight insert this is the use of primary key primary key meaning if somebody tries to insert if you are putting that same value which is already existing in the table it will not allow so in databases many applications for example <coughs> in railway reservation system pnr number cannot be duplicated same way like in flight number that code five digits or six digit reservation code cannot be duplicated you know in atm the transaction number must be unique in a billing system in a retail store in a shop that bill number cannot be duplicated in the whole of telephone billing the telephone number cannot be duplicated same way in most of the applications something must be uniquely maintained whichever has to be uniquely maintained in any application whether it is banking whether it is insurance any application that must be unique to maintain that uniqueness we use primary key and that is the use of the primary key now there are seven values seven columns sorry describe my table there are seven columns of which only two are mandatory not null meaning they have to be present while inserting values suppose i want to insert values only to four columns not the fifth and sixth and seventh column i want to insert only four columns how to do that basically i want to pass only four values still it should insert a row how should i do that to do that you have to use insert into my table then within brackets don't give values within brackets what are the columns you want to supply values now i'm going to say pnr number for that column i want to supply value train number i want to supply value date of journey i want to supply value number of passenger 
I want to supply value. Only for these five columns, I want to, uh, four columns I want to supply values. Put them in brackets. Now give values within brackets. Now I say 145, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the train number. Then the date of journey, I'm going to say 2010 or 0 to 15. Number of passenger is 4. Previously in this insert statement, look at this insert statement. In this insert statement, I have given insert into my table values all seven columns, values for all seven columns. Now, I am giving the insert only to four columns. But if you want to do selectively that, give the column names in brackets, then say values, supply only these four. So this 145 will be taken for PNR number, 3456 for train number, this for date of journey, this for passenger. Now if I do a select, select star from my table. So it has inserted the values in these four columns, but it has not inserted the values for this column, this column, this column. They are all empty. It doesn't show anything over here. This is called selective insert, right? This is a selective insert. So I can insert the column values for all the columns or I can insert values only for selective columns. Now, let me try to do the, I should try to show you what is the thing of not none, okay. For example, insert into uh, my table. I, I want to give only values to the PNR number and the date of journey, okay. Suppose I say values 3, 4, 5, and then uh, 2010, uh, 03, 12. Look at this. Sorry, I have to give a PNR number, right? I misspelled that. I have given values only to the PNR number and date of journey, but it is giving me an error. Field train number doesn't have a default value. Train number I made it as mandatory, not it cannot be null. So whenever you are trying to insert, you must provide a value for all the not null columns. If otherwise it will have an issue. Now if I go here and then say train number, there I am giving a value as uh, 567. Now it is working fine. Now it has inserted. Look here. For the number of passenger, I have not given the values, right? It is taking as null because this is a numeric thing. It is displaying N U L L. That means it doesn't have value. But these are all string fields, so it is not showing anything. The usage of not null field, right? Is if you don't supply value, the database will instruct you, hey you must supply a value for that. The use of the primary key is that field cannot be duplicated. I can insert to all the columns or I can insert only to specific columns within the table. Is this clear to you all? Are these concepts clear to you all? Can you please raise the hand? So, so if I ask a question which is going to have a yes or no answer, please raise the hand. Okay. Good. I could see the hands raising. Perfect. Right. Null, N-U-L meaning it doesn't have a value. For numeric it explicitly prints null, whereas for string fields it doesn't show anything because it's already empty. Okay. Once you have done all these or data inserts, okay. I have done data inserts. Now I want to drop this column. Let us try. Alter table. 
my table drop column uh, two stations right it has done it look at this the two station the moment I said drop column this whole drop the two station column is dropped that means I have lost that information so when you are dropping the columns you must be very very careful before dropping so now I lost this information so if I have to add again then I have to redo that so it is before you drop the column or modify the column please be very sure right shall we move on to the next topic there are again more variations in create itself today I have introduced only primary key and D not null there are something like a foreign key there is something called a default value probably we will take it tomorrow I want to continue on more DML statements today okay once I have added these columns you cannot reorder the columns okay again I'm not sure whether the later versions of SQL my MySQL is suppo uh, supporting that I want to rearrange the columns I don't think that is uh, one of the features available probably I need to look into that whether there are any tools to do that okay now the next thing that I want to show you is and one more thing is someone is asking whether there is something called a rollback can I undo accidentally I drop the column can I undo DDL actions that means create alter drop they cannot be undone the insert update delete all these things are fine but create alter drop these things cannot be undone so you have to be very very sure before you use this drop modify alter etc now there are three records available or say four records four rows available in this table now I want to add a new ticket in this one for this I want to give the current date what is the system date take that to do that I am going to say insert into my table values PNR number uh, 345 sorry 346 then uh, train number is 567 then date of journey either you can give a date of journey which is within quotes or if you use this keyword sys date and two brackets sys date is a built-in function if you use sys date it will return the current date okay sys date number of passengers equal to 5 seat or berth is yes and then from station is uh, Delhi okay let us do select okay just hold on a second I'll be back I'm back again now look at this in this Delhi record I used a keyword sys date within bracket and the two brackets it used current system date 2010-119 you don't if it if you want to refer to take the current system date then you can use sys date okay so this is a new function to do the current date now let me say describe my table there is a field called seat or birth okay which is a character from station where car of 30 now I want to add one more column alter table my table add column to station character of 30 
describe my table there are two things there is a from station there is a to station suppose i insert a new record okay let me insert a new record from delhi to uh, jaipur okay sorry i have to change the primary key to 348 now it is inserting select star from my table look at this there are values someone has asked is this date a procedure it's a system defined built in procedure okay you can straight away call that i would say it's not a procedure it's a function it returns the current date it's a built in function provided by my sql look here from station field is a varchar 30 to station is character 30 i am storing here delhi i am storing here jaipur when you see externally with your eyes you will not see the difference how he is storing it's a text but internally what happens is character 30 means it will always allocate 30 bytes though i have used only six characters over here j a i p u r there are only six characters i used internally he has allocated 30 bytes of which he has used only the six whereas if you are using the type called varchar that means though i have used only 5 bytes so he will allocate only 5 bytes though it can have maximum of 30 bytes while allocating on the disk he will not allocate 30 he will allocate only 5 and then use it whereas character the moment you use 30 characters it will use it will allocate 30 characters within that it will use only 6 so difference between the char and the var char right you need to see the data storage efficiency var char is much efficient it stores only how many number of bytes you have given in the insert or update only those many characters are allocated in the disk whereas in character irrespective of whether you store 1 or 30 30 bytes are allocated so var char is a i would say it's a variable character thing it's an efficient way of storing text data inside the database so most of the time we will be using var char fields for data efficient storage efficiency so that's the difference between char and var char 